Okay, so there are two ways to patch the Apple HDA so that you can have also the HDMI to work. This one is IDT 111D76E0. Um, the codec name is uh, IDT 92HD91BXX. Way number one. See a lot of people was talking about using a dummy kex and use with the original Apple HDA. So this way, or you, or you update it to the new version of this the software, you don't have to fix anything. It will work automatically with the original Apple HDA. Another way to do it is to patch the Apple HDA and this one right here is already patched so every time you update the software you have to reinstall this Apple H patch Apple HDA so if you look at this one right here this version is 272.18 which is really old but it still works right regardless of what way you do it you also need the EAPD fix for you to wake up and the sound still works right this one's different from Kodak Commander from Rehab Man okay because this one's job is for IDT only you must patch with the layout ID 12 for it to work okay so for the HDMI to work you need two patches actually for the patch Apple HDA to work with the HDMI you need two patches okay it's a must an original DSDT so the first one you need to patch on this one since the layout is 12 so you need to patch audio layout 12 okay so this is layout 12 right here okay that's number one number two you need to patch all the B0D3 to HDAU this one must be done and also make sure the layout ID is also 12 if your layout ID is 3 make sure that you change this 12 to 3 8 patches and 9 changes so you see right here B0D3 and HDAU they change that okay those two patches must be done on the SSDT and DSDT if you have them but this one only have the SDT so it's easy you also have to patch it's called kex to patch and this one here make sure it's a Kodak ID for the HDMI Okay, these two guys right here most of the time will work. Right? If you look, this is graphic. And this is HD 4000. Uh, you need these for it to work. HDMI. That with this one, since they use the original. Apple HDA you have to patch the rehab man four patches Texas to patch one or four two or four three or four and four or four install this Kex helper so we're going to install the original Apple HDA And 
also the dummy. So I'm going to install these two guys. Let's see if it works. Okay. I have to add the config. These four guys. to the exit patch. Okay. So it should work. We need before we reboot. We need to run this sudo touch system extension and also update the volume. So to make sure that the fake text is also allowed to load right. so we need to run this first so after we boot it twice we got our sound good patch one should be able to have auto detect when you plug in a headphone it should detect the headphone and when you unplug the headphone, it should come back to the internal speakers. And the next one I want to do is to plug in an HDMI cable and it should switch to the HDMI sound on the monitor. So now we plug in an HDMI cable. The screen is different is because this laptop is not selected correctly it's only 1366 by 768 and the TV is 1080 but the important thing is that it switch to the HDMI sound so let's select the correct uh, resolution now we can see it clearly on here and the sound is actually going through the monitor the TV if we go to the sound we can see it's selected HDMI and when we unplug the HDMI it should revert back to the internal speaker so that's what a good patch should do